Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to talk about Gallo. Gallo is a horse that you have seen maybe in some old videos or on my Instagram, but a lot of you don't really know what's going on with him, if he is mine, if he's from someone else. So I just wanted to give you a quick update on Gallo. Uh, Gallo is doing really good, he is happy, he's now chilling in the field, so we're gonna go to him very soon. Uh, but I just wanted to explain a little bit more about the situation, because Gallo is not my horse. He's also not standing at our own stables at home because we don't have space. Uh, and because he's not mine. So I'm gonna just walk through where he is standing. He is actually on the same spot as where Matt's horses are. So you might recognize the stable from his videos. Uh, but here are the stables. And then I'm gonna go into more about like the whole story about Gallo. But this is a really nice stable. And the stable is actually owned by the same person that also owns Gallo. So there's a lot of horses here. There's the Spanish horses here from the Iberian, Elite Iberian Spot Horses. <laughs> um, and they used to have like a rehab stable here. So here's like the indoor, which is always nice to have. I don't really mind if at home we don't have an indoor because I like riding outside anyways, but it's good to have an indoor here. And then here we have really nice uh, stables. So there's quite some horses here. So I really like the, the colors of the stables, like the brown and the black, but they're all basically in the field right now. So we're gonna go there as well. This one being washed. <laughs> Spanish one. Gallo uh, used to be an ex-bullfighting horse. Uh, maybe you have seen my old video. I've said a little bit about his old story, um, but he used to do bullfighting in Portugal, which I really don't agree with. And I think it's very sad. And if you do agree with it, you might have to check your morals a little bit maybe and educate yourself if it's actually good or not without any judgment. Um, but I don't agree with it at all. And he has had a lot of issues and struggles from it as well. Uh, where we bought him from was in Portugal from a really nice place and they had him there for a few months and they were riding him like dressage and everything. And they were a really good place and they uh, did a lot of good training, but if he's only been there for a few months. So then we bought him for his owner. Well, his owner bought him for herself. Um, and he's in this stable. His one is locked because he likes to kind of attack people or horses that are passing by. <laughs> I mean, it used to be really attacking. Now it's not really attacking anymore. Now it's more playing. So I've magically got some brushes. So I was just deciding that when we get there, we just give him a brush uh, before we enter and do some fun things. So I grabbed these already. But here behind me, you can see the arena. It's a really big arena. It's like 2060, the same as we have at home. Uh, so it's nice because here you get the most beautiful sunset. With our place you get a really beautiful sunrise, but the sunset is always behind the trees. And here you can see kind of like where all the trees are, it's kind of the dunes here. Uh, and then you get always like a beautiful stunning sunset. So here is the arena, then there you have like a, a lunging, lunging place, lunge yard, round yard, round pen, round yard I guess. Um, and behind there is already some horses with the fields. Uh, but we have to go the other way for Gallo. And then here, there's a walker uh, with a little roof, which is good. So you kind of have everything. Um, what is very different from our place is that at home, I have the horses kind of out all day, sometimes also all night. Um, and then we use these kind of things, but not as much. But for this table, it really works well to have all these things. And also for a lot of people that are here that really want to do like serious sport so then you kind of have to have these things i guess we keep going <laughs> they used to have like a tech shop here which was very dangerous and then here it's like from the rehabilitation uh, which they don't really do anymore as they used to but it's still good for your own horses to be able to put them in the aqua trainer or they have a floor that goes like shaking vibrating and that is really good for i think for the blood or at least for recovery things See if it's open. I think it's locked. Well, <laughs> unless it's very... No, and this must be locked. Well, at least here behind, you can see, is the aqua trainer. <laughs> if you want to see, you can see Matt's videos. And they have the Fita floor. That's the one that vibrates. But we don't really need to go in there anyways. And then there we go to the fields. And then we're going to see Gallo. He has quite a belly at the moment. He's a little bit round. Matt keeps calling him the brood mare, which is very rude. <laughs> and I like them round, so he looks really good. Um, he is really beautiful. He's a buckskin, but you will see him in a second. Um, and I have been working or riding or whatever you want to call it with him for... I'm not really sure how long, maybe two years at least. 
I think, maybe, I'm not sure. But then um, the owner bought him for herself, but she doesn't really have too much time for riding and he wasn't the easiest also. Then they had other people riding him, I think two other ones before, but he was just not really that happy and he, she was just like, let's just let him do some fun things, let him play, do some tricks, do whatever you want to do with him. And since then I never really stopped. So he's not mine, but he's also not for sale. So maybe one day he will be mine, who knows. So then in the distance you see Matt's horses, Etro, uh, Sereno, and Emporio must be there somewhere too, yeah. Here's some other paddocks, but that's more for winter. My God, this tour is getting real long. <laughs> Are your arms okay? Oh my, uh -oh, like, at our own home, it would have been a bit quicker. Um, Gallo, as I said, used to do the bullfighting, so he is not aggressive, but he is, I don't know, he can be quite intense. So with other horses, he's also a little bit like that, but it is very cute because he loves mares. One time he started to escape just by opening everything. And then he was always, to, he went into the field with the mares and he was just obsessed with the mares. So geldings and stallions, he doesn't love, but mares he's obsessed with. So finally, after all of that talk, I don't know if I ran through it because I couldn't wait to go to Gallo or if I took my time. But anyway, <laughs> here's Gallo. And if you have seen him from the other videos or you have maybe seen him on an event or you've seen pictures on Instagram and stuff, you know a little bit about him. Let me reveal him. Da -da -da -da. There you are. Oh, you pretty boy. Let me take his rug off. So Gallo is a Lusitano. He is 11 years old. Somewhere around that age, 9, 10, 11. I did know it, terrible, that I don't know for a fact, but he's not my own. <laughs> he always breaks every rock he owns. One time I came and in the stable was pieces here, pieces there, but this one has been quite okay. He loves spending time with me. <laughs> oh, I think he's thirsty. So Gallo is a Lusitano and he used to do the bullfighting. I will add a photo in. Um, he. I don't know much about bullfighting, I just don't really like it myself and I'm not sure if it's really nice for the animals. But he used to be a really, really good horse. Um, fair, he had a really known... Ra oh. Okay, bye. He wants to kill the rug. But go this way again. <laughs> he normally loves it. He had a really well-known rider for the bullfighting and he uh, was a really good horse. The only thing that I think with the bullfighting, the horse always needs to be on because it's... <laughs> oh my god. I might just gonna talk here with him in the background. <laughs> so, he used to be a really good bullfighting horse, as I said. Um, but I think it does make him really different and I think it's also a typical kind of horse that can do it because they need to be switched on, they need to like have that kind of fire in them, I think. I'm not really sure, but I think so. Uh, so he's really sweet. The only issue that he had is that he always had really, really heavy bits in. So he's always struggling a little bit with his mouth. He had like pins on his nose. So he has like kind of damage on the nose uh, from the nose band. He has like spur spots and everything. So I don't think he had like the best life. As I said, where we bought him from, or well, the owner bought him from he had a good place like they were really nice people but his life before that cannot have been so nice so that is a bit of the struggle that i had with him also when we started working is that he all of a sudden could just like bolt and run and that was in the beginning and that was over and then he just couldn't really relax he knows a lot of exercises high level exercises but i think they've just been put in there for like so quickly that he just does them, but he doesn't really relax with them. Like you can't ride him on like a loose rein or anything. Um, but it is actually getting a lot better and we took him to a show and then he was so proud and enjoying it. And we both loved it. Like Kim is behind the camera, she was there too. And we just both loved it with him and he was just so happy and really like starting to feel himself. And that's all we want for him to feel proud, to like what he's doing. Um, and that's why uh, yeah, we're just doing some fun things, riding a little bit, going on some trail rides, doing a little bit of liberty work lately as well. So we're really going to start to get into this. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to bring him to the paddock because I can't do it here in the arena because these people want a really nice arena. And if he's going to run and play around, then the arena won't be so nice anymore. So we have to go to the paddock. And as you see, he loves it to be around me. I'm going to get him. <laughs> And then we're just gonna walk in the arena and I'll tell you some more about him. Oh boy, wanna have some fun in the paddock? Yep. <laughs> I really love the color buckskin though. Like I think it's one of the most pretty colors, if you care about the color. 
And don't you think he just looks a bit like the horse spirit from the movie? So we have arrived at the paddock. So what I'm just doing now, basically with Gaio, is that I like to ride. So I like to do the, the kind of the dressage and all these sorts of things. I just really want him to be able to ride, be relaxed. Don't always need to give like 110%. And also want to be willing to work together and not feel like he needs to be against anyone. And hopefully one day it will be very cool to go on the necro. But the main thing for me is just that he's enjoying it and likes doing what he's doing. And then the rest will follow. So that's also how I started working with him. I started to um, do some things in hand. Um, but the thing was when I had my whip, it felt like he was almost going to attack me. So it was kind of scary. Um, but then I started to like teach him that the whip could mean something fun. So I started doing like the Spanish walk. I can show you. You can see his whole um, thing, what he is doing then already, like he wants to do it so well. And he is, I don't know if he's scared to do the wrong thing or what the whole point is, but he will just give a lot. But it's already been a lot better. Yeah. Oh, good boy. <laughs> and for me, it doesn't matter what it looks like. Yeah. The only thing that I then also found out, um, you can teach the horse the bowing, which is really nice. And I think Andorra can do it really well and she looks still very proud. But I think they taught him the bowing. But as you can see, so it's not been done by me, but I want to show you because I want to teach him. He doesn't need to be so stressed. But he, when I try to do, give the command for the bowing, he will just go down so quickly that he's like, oh, um, otherwise it will like hurt, basically. That's how I see it. Um, so sometimes he even tries to go on two legs, but I will show you. Good boy. So I, good boy, I want him to just do it with one leg and just carefully and slowly because I think this just looks a bit sad and very like dominate, like submissive, let's say. So he looks very like, and I want him to be proud to do these things. So Gaio is owned by the owner of this stable. She used to ride a lot, but she's very busy with the brand Kingsley and with other things. So she doesn't have much time. And because he is just a little bit crazy sometimes, not very crazy, but just not the easiest to ride if you want to have a relaxed ride. Um, then she likes me to do stuff with him and she kind of says that he is my horse, but I only want him if I can like buy him. So maybe one day we'll do it, but he's definitely a very special horse. I'm gonna just have some fun with him and I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I'm doing. <laughs> so nice, sounds like chips. Very dry leaves he's eating. <laughs> uh, but I've also started doing the laying down, which I think is always a very special trick. Sometimes he tries to do it a little bit. I can't come too close yet, but it's a very special process to go through. What I really like with him, he can, <coughs> he can be kind of like, really fast, but what is really cool with him, he has this really cool expression that he's on the scat is so fast towards me, and then he stops and he still has his distance. I think my Andres, he would have already ran me over. If he reacts, I relax straight away. Good boy. And then I step back and whistle, and then you see him turn already. So when I give him something, or when I'm next to him, or he's very ADD in his head, so even when you like have him standing something, you can't have any like glasses, nothing standing around because he will grab it and knock it. So what I've also tried to do a little bit is that he waits and that I'll go that way. Wait, maybe I let him wait on that side so he runs towards us and then come to us. Oh, shh, wait, shh, 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 oh, then I do it again. Yeah, good boy. And that's okay. He can do everything. Shh. I'm just trying to teach him also that it's not a problem and you don't understand. Yeah. Oh, that was calm. Good boy. Good. Ah, that's sweet. So the most important thing is that he likes it and that he's not too worried to show his own like character and his own personality. Down. Down. There he offers it. So I go, yeah. Good boy, let's see. Oh, good boy. That could already come a lot closer. Every time when he wants to roll now, because I want him to do it, then I'm just gonna reward him for it. Yeah. So the more he will show his own like personality, emotions, even if it's like good or bad in our eyes, I think everything is really good that he can show and we can try to understand each other more and more. Same way. Yeah. The other way. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, this way he likes to be like glued on to me. Oh, whoa. Yeah, good boy. Oh, he starts to do. <laughs> yeah. 
you've never done that before. And it's all just about like asking little things and that will help with riding, with everything, just with the whole communication for us because oh, now you see he's already getting a bit like too much in his head that he wants to do too much. But it's all about asking the little things and then for him to find the right answer. Oh, you're doing really good. Okay. <laughs> now come. I just ask Rock. Yeah. The other way. Yeah, it's up. I also have to just be very clear that if I ask something, I explain what I meant and what answer it needs to be. Not to be very like strict, but just to be very clear because then he knows what I mean and then it's easier for him. Do you want a Spanish walk? Yeah. And you see that he like does so much that ooh, he gets a little bit tense and nervous from it and that is really what needs to go. He needs to learn that it's all okay. He's also still a little tense for the whip, so he needs to kind of learn that as well. Like with my other horses, I can just like go crazy like this without them reacting. But it's getting better already. You see, if you want to hold the whip then. <laughs> see, it's not that bad. <laughs> he likes to do all these things. Oh, you're very sweet. You're very good. Let up. Wow, good boy. And what I always thought with him is that he doesn't really get the right feeling from rewarding. I think he's maybe used to more negative reinforcement. Uh, so now he's starting to learn more when you are happy that it's a good thing. Come closer. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Let up. <laughs> Not to me. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, relax. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's his favorite thing. <laughs> this way? No. Shh, shh, shh. This way. Yeah. It's a... No, I think he's doing really good. Come, come, come. <laughs> he's just so funny. So I think he's doing really good. I just wanted to give you a quick update on like how he's going, where he's standing, who is the owner, because there were kind of the main questions, what I'm doing with him. Um, so for now we're just having fun. As I said, this is all not like any professional crazy things yet, but that doesn't matter at all. As long as he likes it, he can show more of himself and I get to learn more about him and get to understand him better. And he's teaching me so many things in how to be and I'm still learning so much. So it's really nice to be around with him. Uh, first, it was a bit difficult because he was so like ADD. For me, I'm also very chaotic. So it was a little bit difficult sometimes to put my own chaoticness and ADD on the side um, to be a bit more calm with him. But I think slowly it's getting a little bit better. Um, so he's doing really good. I will be giving you more updates on him, like how the riding is going, how maybe the Liberty work in a while is going, if we're gonna go out for fun things or whatever. If you want to know more about him as well, or if you have some things you would like to see, please let me know in the comments. Um, and then thank you so much for watching. I I'm happy to involve him in the whole story and maybe one day he will be home. But for now, we're gonna work from here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.